All right, so today we're going to, um, I decided to replace the bushings uh, on, on Carl's aluminum carriage with, with some ball bearings. And one, one of the biggest questionable factors has always, always been, uh, does it become too noisy? Well, w w welcome to my sound app here. You can see it jump up to 80 there when I snap. Actually, that jumped up to 99. My max just just increased. Basically, got my package. Swiss Post. And it con contains eight bearings. Um, you only need four. I'll be clear. You only need four for, for the... Uh, Aluminum carriage. The, the other four are just some spares uh, that I, I decided to pick up uh, just in case. So, what we're going to do is a, a quick test of how, how loud is it with the bushings pro properly adjusted. And when I say properly adjusted, let, let me try to be clear on that. Okay, now you know how loud the bearings are on Bottle Works aluminum arms. <laughs> uh, but when I, when I talk about properly adjusted, I mean not too tight. That you, you can't really swing or spin the bearings around just enough to grab them. But, so not too loose to where you can move the bearings around, but, but not too tight to where it actually impacts moving along the track smoothly without it binding or catching. Now, I've been running this for uh, a month now, so I, I definitely have these properly adjusted, and, and, and I'm pretty sure of that. So, let me see here, let's, let's take the... See, trade back up. Now, we can't, can't believe the max, because the max is actually picking up on the sound of the stepper motor engaging, which is a loud clunk when I first uh, tell the carriage to move across the gantry. So, we're going to ignore that. What I'll do is, as I'll move it, I know I got at least 300 across, so I'll click three times. I'll say that's a steady 67, 68 on the dust bowl reader. So we know ex exactly what what our baseline is, and then we'll run a test again. Of course, after I I put the ball bearings in to see exactly what the difference in the sound is. Just 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 for good measure, though. Let, let's since we've already got let me see the bottom works. Uh, say about the same actually. Sixty-six, sixty-seven. Let's, let's actually do the aluminum Carl's aluminum XNs. Seventy-two. That, that's a definite easy seventy-two. Go ahead and, and throw the bearings in there, so we will have bearings on everything now. And after I do the bearings in the uh, aluminum carriage and. We'll go through the install process of, of that. It's actually very simple if you already have Carl's Aluminum XNs on there. Let's, let's, uh, let me get the printer stripped down and, and prepared to, to put the bearings on. And we can go from there. All right, so we're back and we got the installation of the ball bearings on Carl's Aluminum carriage. So originally we had the aluminum arm bearings from Bottle Works at about 67. And we still do.
Then we had Carl's aluminum arms, about 70, and we still do. And originally the carriage running MakerBot's bushings was about 67. So let's take it all the way over. And we'll run it 300 to the left. We may have gone up about one decibel of noise running ball bearings. I don't see a difference. Now this is set at the same speed, it was 2800 millimeters per minute. So I really do think you, you'll hear the stepper motor louder than you'll hear the ball bearings if you put bearings on your aluminum carriage. Now I'm not going to vouch for the accuracy of this particular app application on my iPad here as far as how quiet or how accurate it is in picking up in decibels. Um, because I have nothing to gauge it against. What I'm looking for is the difference between your ambient noise, quiet house, which mine is always about 50 to 52, versus the noise it makes, and then the difference between the noise with the bushings, which the bushing test done previously was done at 2800 millimeters per minute, running on the aluminum carriage with bushings and that's what we compared it to here and we got the same reading that there was absolutely no difference there with the ball bearings on Carl's aluminum carriage gave me the same reading as the bushings gave me so the debate between are the ball bearings louder than the bushings the answer should be no in fact, they, they seem to be exactly the same noise level. And like I said, I can't vouch for the accuracy of this application. Um, I'm just looking at what the reading came out at as a baseline before with bushings, now with ball bearings. And I don't see a difference. So, <clears throat> quite frankly, if the ball bearings are put in correctly and they're not strapped in too tight if they're strapped in too tight they will cause more more noise they'll cause more rubbing against your rods and wear of your rods and or wear of the ball bearings for the ball bearings to go bad faster so but if you if you line the ball bearings up correctly uh, not too tight not too loose at the same time you don't want them so they'll rattle around in there when you're actually printing so the only thing I have to gain out of putting ball bearings in here is the better print quality that other people claim that they've seen and that's what I'm after thanks for watching hope that explained a few things and answered a few questions for some people that may have been wondering are the ball bearings really louder no not if properly installed I don't think they are do they make a difference in the print quality well that's yet to be seen but I'll try to get back to you on that and let you know